Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something definitely different. A sort of curveball from content that I usually make, if you will. We're going to be doing my top 10 favorite COD zombie weapons. This is going to exclude wonder weapons, as I'm going to be doing that in another top 10 video list. And this isn't a top 10, like, best list or anything. That list would be completely different if that were the case. Okay, now this list is probably going to trigger you if your favorite weapon is not on this list, but that's okay. I mean, that's the point of this kind of video, right? We all have different opinions about our favorite weapons, and um, we're all not going to agree with each other, so... So I would love to hear what your favorite COD zombie weapons are in the comments below. Now, how I'm going to do this list is Treyarch zombies only. You know, the one only true good zombies experience. So I'm excluding all that World of War II and Infinite Warfare garbage, and even Vanguard too. I mean, I only played that game for like a week, and I, uh, I bought the $100 like pre-order bonus as well, so I can get that PPSH skin for Cold War. Um, and uh, I regret my decision. I mean, what a slap in the face that was. Anyway, I try to include at least one weapon from like World of War, all the Black Ops games, and um, Cold War. So without further ado, here is my top 10 favorite COD zombie weapons. But first, honorable mentions. What kind of list would this be if I didn't at least include some honorable mentions? And I have seven honorable mentions, and I know that's kind of a lot for a honorable mentions list, but there's a lot of COD zombie weapons, so... Whatever, I'll try to make this quick. So none of these honorable mentions are in like any particular order, they just almost kind of made the list. And the first one we got is the MP40. Yeah, I can already see the hate comments down below. Man, the Black Ops 1 version of the MP40 would definitely be my favorite. Man, those iron sights on that are so sexy. Even though I think they're the same ones as the World of War one, I don't know. But I like the Black Ops 1 version. But it's really never a weapon that I go out of my way for. Unless, like, I actually really, really need a gun. Like on Kino, when the dog round is next round, you know, the MP40 right there, let me just grab it. Or on Origins, when the Panzer is, you know, next round, and uh, it's just near the dig site, you know, grab it for 1,300 points, and uh, pray to God he doesn't grapple your ass and flamethrow your face off. So, yeah, that's the MP40. Sorry, not sorry, guys. Next is the MG08. Um, you're actually going to see a lot of Origins exclusive weapons on this honorable mentions list. And BO2 actually was really good at doing that like one map only kind of weapon thing. I mean, I love all those weapons, but only having them on like one map definitely changed my opinion on where they stand on this list. And I actually have one exclusive map weapon that you'll see later in the list that actually made the top 10, so there's that to look forward to. So the MG-08, uh, it's a super fun weapon to use. I mean, I always love grabbing that. But, I mean, you're already super slow in the mud on Origins anyway, and then adding an LMG, trying to run through it, just is just a nightmare. And sorry about this lighting, guys. I'm trying to figure it out here. I just got this. I don't know if I can make it darker, change the color, lighter. I don't know. I'm still kind of messing with this for the 2022 new year, because I'm recording at a 1020 at night, so... Next, we actually have the Mauser. Um, definitely the BO2 version, though. The sound effects when you shoot it are just way better than the Black Ops 3 version. I love how OP it is when you shoot the Panzer. Um, the scope is really dope on it, too, but, like, the ammo just sucks on it. Oh, my God. I never keep it for, like, more than two or three rounds when I pack a bunch of so. So my next honorable mention is the Dracon. Um, man, this would have been number 10 for sure. I really like this weapon. I mean, this, the Vendetta, and that SVU um, were just so fun to, like, spam when you're, like, camping on a like, catwalk or something. My sweet little sniper, and I love the ELO side on it. So next is actually the KSG, another Origins exclusive weapon. Um, isn't it? I think it's the only, like, slug shotgun in zombies? I'm probably wrong, so somebody correct me in the comments about that, but it is definitely a mist maker for sure. Um, and it actually has impressive range, too. Hi, hey guys, this is Nick from the future. Um, I'm currently editing the video that you're watching right now. Isn't that crazy? Um, and I just realized that I totally forgot to put in my seventh honorable mention. I was looking through, I was like, hmm, there's six here. Did I, did I count wrong? Did I just say seven? But then I looked at my list again and I missed one. So it is the Executioner from Black Ops 2. And man, I love this thing. Um, but it definitely couldn't be on the list because a little spoiler here. Um, two revolvers made the top ten list. So I think that would have been a little overkill if the Executioner was on there too, don't you think? So anyway, the Executioner. Uh, just the just the thought of having like a shotgun revolver is just so so amusing to me, and it's so fun to use. The voice of Justice is just an awesome pack-a-punch name as well. 
Anyway, yeah, love the Executioner, but just couldn't be on the list. And lastly, for honorable mentions, is going to be the Scar H. Man, I wish this was on more maps. Um, there was the BO4 Rampart, but it ain't no Scar H. So many good memories of just popping zombies' heads the double tap and shooting those Templar zombies. All right, guys, now that the honorable mentions are out of the way, we can do our top 10 weapons list for zombies of all time. And what's not a better way to start the list than the M1927? No? No one likes that weapon? Well, oh, shit. So, the M1927. Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I love the original World of War Thompson. Um, and the Black Ops 1 version, too, with the remastered World of War maps. But this little Chicago typewriter is the first thing that come to mind when I think of, like, 1930s weapons. Um, and I can't think of a more perfect map for it to be on than Mob of the Dead. And I know it's on several other maps, too. Um, BO3 had it on Revelations. In BO4, you can like edit it in the class and stuff, put some camels on it. No attachments though, but um, yeah, it's there on all the BO4 maps, which is pretty cool. But the BO2 version for me is superior. And I'm a slugger for drum magazines on guns. And seeing it on the M1927 here is no exception. It looks great. Like seriously, forget the Uzi. Like if you're not playing with this, then you're not playing Mob of the Dead, period. This is my go-to wall weapon and probably always will be. All right, guys, for my number nine spot, I have the bootlegger. And I love those classic looking weapons and this weapon just has a certain charm to it that just appeals to me. Like the little writing by the magazine just kind of reminds me of like classic cars from that era or almost that era. Like the 1957 Bel Air. That's one of my favorite dream cars and it has like the little Bel Air kind of signature on the interior and exterior. And um, same with the Carmen Ghia. Um, that kind of has some nice little signatures as well. I mean, like, the, just the little details on the weapon just make it look so fancy. And why not look good when you're killing zombies? I mean, come on now. So I'll take this over that boring-looking Type 100 any day. Thanks. So for my number eight spot, I have the Marshals. And these are the Marshals from Cold War. Not Zetsubo no Shima. Even though those ones are so badass, I just, I hate, I hate that map so much. I hate Zetsubo, guys. Oh, my God. The Pack-a-Punch process is just so tedious it just makes me not want to play that map and even when i did back in 2016 i only got the marshals like three or four times so back to the actual cold war ones these were so op before they patched it oh my god especially in multiplayer but in zombies it still kind of does pretty good damage but yeah nothing beats that was pre-patched marshals i love the dual wield option who doesn't use dual wield on it right it's the best um, I don't use the Dragon's Breath either. It kind of like lowers your damage, I believe. One of those attachments where it makes you slower or something, it's like, come on, get out of here with that. The barrel options are neat as well. I usually just do the long, long barrels with the dual wield. And lastly, but most importantly, that dark ether camo just looks so sexy on it. Mm. Overall, just a great weapon to run around with. So guys, for my number seven spot, we got the Dingo Bingo Bango Bango Bingo. Man, I love this LMG. All right, guys, I'll be frank with you. I am not a fan of BO3's default base weapons like at all. I mean, the, the Dracon made my honorable mentions list and the Dingo now is here at seven. But I mean, just the DLC weapons are way better than those default weapons like the, the Rift, um, the Disc Gun. I mean, imagine that in Zombies. That would have been so much fun. Imagine a pack a punch too. The Banshee was fun. That was in Zombies, thank God. Same with the Rift. But anyway, I'm getting off track. So when I have Meal Kick, which I rarely do, um, I at least try to have the Dingo somewhere in there for like points and stuff. I mean, it's got an excellent rate of fire too. It's not too fast and it's not too slow either. It's kind of like perfect balance. But the Elo side is actually a must for me on this gun. That and the laser side. And it barely has any kickback too, which is uber nice. I mean, the pack a punch name is dope too. Um, the Dire Wolf. And I'm a huge fan of Game of Thrones, um, till season eight, actually. Oh my god, what a disaster. Um, so seeing the Dire Wolf little title there was just a nice thing to see. Um, very, very solid light machine gun. I give it a 10. For my number six spot, we have the Hammer. And my god, what a gun, right? I'll be honest, though, the kickback on that thing is just atrocious. I mean, when you're trapped in a corner and you're spraying bullets everywhere, it just seems to hit everything else but the zombie that's right in front of you. The MG-08 had the same issue, too. Anyway, this gun just looks spectacular. I mean, the drum mag, obviously the sexiest part of the gun. Drum magazines and suppressors on weapons for me are just... Oh. The iron sights are very similar to the SCAR as well, which is very, very lovely. 
So when I'm using the hammer in multiplayer on Nuketown, um, I use grip, obviously, suppressor, and I use a little reflex type with a little blue one on there. You know, it shreds, guys. I would use it. But for zombies, though, obviously, I use the grip attachment when I pack a bunch of it. Um, so, yeah, that's the hammer, guys. Who doesn't love it? So, you made it all the way to my top five. Well, my favorite LMG of all zombies, of all time, is the Zweihander. I mean, this gun just looks so badass to me. I mean, especially with that dark matter camo on it. Mm. God, this looks so good. I actually don't see a lot of people with dark matter when I replay Black Ops 4. I know a lot of people hated that game, but I'll tell you a little secret here, guys. When I make my top 10 maps... You guys, if you're not a fan of Black Ops 4, you're going to hate that list. I can just see the pitchforks and the downvotes right now. Mm. And let's not forget about that 100 percenter calling card. Oh my god. That was literally the biggest, hardest, longest <laughs> grind of my life. Oh my god. But hey, it's an amazing calling card. I love it. It's awesome. And we're getting off track again, so let's get back to Spyander. And I love how it shoots out of like two barrels. And the iron sights are surprisingly good on it. Um... For how cluttered they are. Fun fact guys, did you know that this weapon was actually invented by one of my favorite characters, the one and only Scarlet Rhodes. Yeah, fun fact, I bet you didn't know that. And I believe this was actually made for like a passenger on a biplane. Um, if you read the little description bio thing, under the weapon on the Black Ops 4 like menu when you're like trying to put camos on it and stuff, it kind of says something like a biplane I believe. I could be wrong, I, did, I couldn't find any images here on Google saying it. But um, it's kind of like the Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade scene when they're in, in the sky trying to escape and fight the Nazis. I love that movie. One of my favorites. But anyway, what a fantastic gun. So remember when I said there was a one map only exclusive weapon that made this list? Well, my number four spot goes to the Remington New Model Army. Oh, man, it's just such a fun little cowboy gun. Perfect for a small western town. It was also featured in the Origins opening cutscene. Dempsey was using it, um, but just like the Olympia that Nikolai was using, it's nowhere to be found in the actual game, which I always thought was just super weird. But whatever, hey, I mean, it just makes it more special for it to just to be in Buried. So it was either going to be this or the Bloodhound from Shadows of Evil, because that thing is super OP in like the early rounds for whatever reason. Like, I think just a one-shot headshot, but it had to be the Remington New Model Army for sure. So anytime I play Buried, I always hit the box for this weapon. I get Leroy or Arthur, as his name is. I get him to lock the box, and I just keep hitting it until I get this weapon. Um, screw the Paralyzer, I care less about that weapon, actually. And the Time Bomb, who likes the Time Bomb? Like, really? Obviously, you gotta go for Monkey Bomb on this map. We're getting sidetracked again. <laughs> like, everything just feels so right when you're using this weapon. And the Pack-a-Punch name is so fun. It's one of my favorite Pack-a-Punch names, the Sansa France. It's just so fun to say, Sansa France. I love spamming this thing into, like, hordes and stuff. Um, and Vulture Aid helps too with the little tiny bullets they give you. So the Remington New Model Army, yeah, it's a must have for any cowboy or cowgirl that likes to roam those parts. So speaking of revolvers, <laughs> my favorite revolver of all time is here in the third spot. And it is the Python or Colt Python. I mean, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. When I think of a revolver, this is the first thing that comes to mind. The BO1 version is definitely my favorite because The Walking Dead um, it actually came out the same year, um, Halloween 2010. Um, and that's one of my favorite shows of all time. And The Walking Dead is still good, all right? Season 9, 10, and 11 are great. You know, season 7 and season 8 were god-awful, I can agree with that. But if you stop watching the show after You Know Who Dies by the hands of Negan, then I, I suggest you watch the show again because it's actually good, all right? Anyway, I digress. But Rick Grimes is the main character of that show, and his main weapon is a python. Um, I wish, actually, Black Ops did the more chrome look in-game. I think that would have looked a lot cooler than just the black. But it's still, still awesome, nevertheless. Now that I think about it, this is actually my favorite weapon to spam into hordes. And I love that they actually included a speed loader when you pack a punch it to the Cobra. I mean, it just makes it so much higher for me on the list instead of just putting one bullet in at a time. So, the Python. Just the revolver of all revolvers in my eyes. For second place, my favorite assault rifle of all time. The AN-94. The Black Ops 2 version, of course. I mean, the Mob of the Dead, AK, almost made the list just for the simple fact that when you pack a punch it, it's called 
Reznov's Revenge. And Reznov is definitely one of my favorite Call of Duty characters of all time. I mean, I do love the Black Ops 4 version as well. Um, I love how you can put attachments on it and cool camos, but the Black Ops 2 version is just lightning in a bottle. I love the iron sights, I love the magazine, I love the sound of it when you're shooting it. Just, mm. We can't forget about that pack-a-punched ammo count. I mean, come on, man, it's so good. But anyway, I can go on for hours praising this and my number one spot, so we're done. That was the A94, ladies and gentlemen. Was it gonna be anything else? If you know me personally, you know that my favorite weapon of all time, any Call of Duty game, multiplayer and zombies, it's the iconic PPSH-41. I mean, this weapon, it has no flaws in my eyes. Everything, and I mean everything, about this weapon is just perfect. I sleep with it at night, actually. <laughs> and if a robber tries to rob my house, I'll just pull this up, and they'll never step a foot in my house again. Or I could use this, which actually did not make the list either. Sorry, guys. Or I could use this, too. I mean, I could use all three on them and definitely never come back. I love all the versions of the PPSH-41, but the best version of me is the World of War version. Like, the ammo count when you pack-a-punch it into the Reaper is just ridiculously good. It's like a mini LMG. I mean, and you're faster when you run with it, too. And my second favorite version of the PPSH is the Cold War version. I mean, you can put cool attachments on it. You can put camos, like the cool mastery camos on that look really good on it. Um... You can put the stickers, the charms, and even like the Mastercraft and blueprints. You can mix them all together and you can make one weird looking PPSH, which is just so awesome. I mean, I can't stop saying good things about this gun, so let's cut it here before this video is like five hours long. Cool, okay, thanks, yeah. The PPSH 41 will never be topped for me in any Call of Duty game. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of my top 10 favorite Call of Duty zombie weapons of all time. Man, this this lighting, man. I mean, I hope it looks good when I actually edit in Premiere Pro. Anyway, tell me what your top 10 favorite weapons of all time are in the comments below. So with that being said, I'm gonna put a link to my Instagram, some videos, and some other playlist of mine in the description below. If you guys wanna follow them, cool. If not, I mean, that's cool too. So, and you'll probably see some links here and probably on my face, so hopefully I'm not blocking it completely. But anyway, thank you so much for watching the videos. Um, I have a lot of drinking and a lot of editing to do here at midnight. So, bye guys.